Let's turn something that you may know into something that's even better. Let's take a stretch and turn it into a complete hip release. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, sit down and uh, lay on our back. And we're going to take our right leg and put it over top of our left. And we want the, the, the knee to go right over the hip. And we're going to bring our legs up. And you're going to grab each leg like this. And what you're going to do is pull the skin apart. So the object is to pull the skin and pull the back. So I'm pulling down and back. And then I'm going to pull my head up to the right side. That's counter rotation fetal position. And I'm going to breathe. Breathe in. Two. Feel free to move a bit to the nose. And I usually hold this for somewhere around 12 to 15 breaths or until my hip drops. And I'll usually feel the hip drop on the right side. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side too. Roll back, take your left foot, Put it over top of your, your right, pulling up. Again, pulling away, pulling the body as much into a fetal position as you can. Turn your head to the left and breathe in. Very forceful. Through the nose. Again. Through the nose. There, my hip drop. And you'll see that I'm alternating between mouth and nose breath because mouth breathing drives force into the hips pressure and nose breathing drives force pressure up into the diaphragm, shoulders, and neck and head. Try this and you will be amazed.